Canada is known around the world as a place of unlimited opportunity. But for a country with so much to offer, Canada still has major problems. And behind these problems are real people, living through them every day. People who have been forgotten, given up on, or feel like they have no voice. Millions of women in Canada are affected by human trafficking, addiction, and abuse. And oftentimes, these three go hand in hand. These are issues that affect women across our entire country, but in our home Windsor, it's even more severe. Windsor is located right at the end of the 401, and home to the busiest international crossing in the continent. With 800,000 people being trafficked across North American borders every year, we are a source and gateway city for human trafficking. Of these 800,000, 95% are women. The rate of opioid use in Windsor is 19% higher than the provincial average. And a woman with an addiction can spend nearly 90% of her income on drugs and alcohol. Almost 25% of the violent crimes in Windsor are domestic assault. But you would never know because it's not in the news and we don't talk about it. You see, these are the things that we've been conditioned our whole lives to turn a blind eye to. We are Enactus Windsor, a team of 140 students who are choosing to tackle issues that our city has faced for generations. Together, we have decided that no woman will ever stand alone by extending our hand to those who need to be reminded of their own strength. I'd like to introduce you all to Victoria, a hardworking university student ready to take on the world. On the surface, we can all relate to her. But what if we told you that there is much more to her story? My addiction just got unmanageable, so um, I basically stopped working and I was just living day to day, like, you know, on the streets and uh, at the shelter and just trying to get my fix. I would make money for the day and then my abuser would, uh, you know, take it and spend it on whatever he wanted. And then we would be broke the next day. So then I would have to go back to work. And basically it was a cycle like that. And Victoria isn't alone. She is just one of the many women in our city whose life has been controlled by something else, trapped in a vicious cycle and unable to break free. We knew we needed to step in and provide these women with a second chance to get out and stay out. So we created the Liberty Project, a social enterprise that empowers women overcoming addiction, abuse, and human trafficking to reach independence through education and employment. Our project aims to reduce social inequalities in our city and around the world. Our project begins with our community partners who help our clients with their initial rehabilitation. Once our clients are ready, they are referred to our 10-week program and paired with an upper year social work student to ensure their specific needs are met when working through our curriculum. With our partners, we designed our curriculum around the challenges our clients face, covering topics such as healthy relationships, self-care, and conflict resolution. After learning that 85% of women who leave an abusive relationship return because they've never had a chance to manage their money, we introduced financial literacy. We start with the basics, like how to open a bank account and make monthly budgets. This helps Victoria save for things like rent, bills, and food, bringing her one step closer to financial independence. Advisors from our sponsor, Libro Credit Union, continue the process with our clients, taking them through an interactive workshop that teaches them about financial products that can help them achieve their long-term goals. Now that our clients know how to properly manage their money, this leads us to our next step, transitional employment. We realized that many have never had a reliable job, made a resume, or prepared for an interview. We wanted to find a way to give our clients experience and skills to put on their resume, while creating a sustainable model to ensure we can scale our impact. Clients are hired as independent contractors onto our social enterprise and are employed to create reusable menstrual pads. After several stages of experimentation, we designed a reusable pad that is comfortable, absorbent, and cost-efficient. Our clients prepare the materials, create the products, and manage inventory. With proper care and use, our pads can last up to three years. Now Victoria has practical employment experience and something to talk about in an interview. Of the 25 clients that have graduated the program this year, over 40% have gained full-time employment. I learned, uh, you know, how ambitious I become. I'm definitely a lot more confident now. Like I'm just, I'm ready to like work, uh, you know, again. The future for me, I'm definitely gonna be going back to school, uh, September, 2020. And a lot of the girls have inspired me to pursue social work because of the things I went through. 
To help our clients find employment after the program, we created a referral system with Windsor's downtown mission. After graduation, clients can now be onboarded to the Enterprise Program, a 40-day employment initiative. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we realized that our clients need a support system now more than ever. So we moved all consulting sessions to be done virtually, while also providing additional support to past graduates. Once all of our clients are able to safely return to work, production will be transitioned towards making face masks. As our project continued to evolve, we needed to adapt and create a business model that allows us to expand our impact. This year, we did just that. Our business model is broken down into three sections, merchandise, product sales, and monetized community engagement. This year, we introduced our first line of merchandise, an affordable clothing line to spread the Liberty Project's message. Products are sold using a buy one, give one model, sending a reusable pad to a woman in developing countries. We partnered with local stores to sell our products, who completely sold out weeks after our first launch. Customers can also purchase our merchandise and reusable pads through our e-commerce platform. And on top of pad production, clients will be fulfilling and tracking orders, providing them with even more transferable skills. Our newest revenue stream is the selling of advertisement space within areas of the project. Within two months, advertising spaces were completely sold out, spreading our message further throughout our community. When developing the next stage of our program, we asked ourselves, how could we have reached Victoria sooner? After speaking with the Ontario Provincial Police, we learned that the best way to prevent youth from falling into this cycle is providing them with education. So we adapted our curriculum and partnered with local high schools, where we run workshops that bring awareness to the issues of human trafficking, addiction, and abusive relationships. Utilizing our network, we'll be able to run our workshops in 12 schools, reaching nearly 400 students in fall 2020. After developing our social enterprise, we decided to extend liberty beyond our city. We found that women in developing nations don't have access to menstrual products during their periods and are often forced to use whatever they can find, like leaves, dirty rags, or cow dung. These makeshift alternatives lead to a wide variety of health concerns that can drastically shorten a woman's lifespan. And in other parts of the world, girls are often forced to stay at home from school during their periods and end up missing 20% of their academic school year. In many cases, they drop out of school completely. Since the Liberty Project is all about women empowering women, we donate pads made by our clients in Windsor to women in developing nations where menstrual products are either unavailable or unaffordable. To scale our reach, we partner with NGOs to deliver our pads, and our team maintains close relationships with on-site contacts. Each pad sent comes with a translated cleaning manual to assist in the longevity of the pad. This year, we sent pads to five countries, distributing pads to 325 women. Access to these products has transformed their lives. For some, it's going back to school or work. For others, it's getting their freedom back. While we continue to develop the existing components of the project, our focus remains on the future. With the success we've seen in Windsor, we are planning to scale the Liberty Project to other cities across Canada and the world. Utilizing the network we built, we are partnering with similar community organizations and university social work programs to implement satellite liberties across Ontario. Next, we are also working towards bringing our project to women in need overseas. We partnered with Determined to Develop, a charity school that works to empower children in Malawi through the power of education. With their help, we learn that Malawian girls are faced with social isolation, economic vulnerability, and a lack of access to informational services, trapping them in a cycle of poverty. Together, we are developing workshops to teach girls the importance of entrepreneurship, female empowerment, and financial literacy to ultimately break this cycle of poverty. Our next step is to create an entrepreneurial program where girls in Malawi create their own reusable pads and sell them within the community. This will help them generate their own source of personal income, while also combating the issues of sanitation within the country. The Liberty Project is just one initiative we've been proud to share with you today, but we've also been committed to other projects this year. You Thrive is a 10-week mentorship program that empowers high school and grade school students to create their own eco-friendly business. Through our government-aligned curriculum, 
over 650 students this year were able to turn their passions into viable businesses while learning financial literacy and other business fundamentals along the way. To scale YouThrive's reach, we developed YouThrive Plus, a state-of-the-art learning management system that allows teachers and students to learn online while tracking their progress. YouThrive Plus ensures that students all over Ontario have the tools to start their own business, even in times where they can't be in the classroom. This year, YouThrive students generated over $27,000 in just 10 weeks, while the project was able to generate over $42,000. City Thrive empowers homeless and at-risk individuals to gain transferable job skills and become employment ready. This year, we worked with 64 individuals, gearing them towards a sustainable long-term career. Windsor Soup gives startup businesses an opportunity to compete for grants of up to $2,000 at the largest crowdfunding event in southwestern Ontario. This year, we inspired 650 students to become entrepreneurs and carve their own path to success. We created 181 businesses and helped 74 individuals find employment. We've empowered 25 women to overcome their past and take control of their own lives. And these women created over 800 menstrual pads, prevented 390,000 disposable pads from ending up in landfills, and allowed 325 women worldwide to reimagine their future. We improved the lives of over 5,300 people across the globe, and our team has generated nearly $130,000 in revenue. At Anactus Windsor, we are transforming communities around the world and extending our hand to those in need. Reminding women like Victoria of the strength that has always been within them. How powerful her voice can be. How her resilience can inspire women all around the world. And how when women come together, they can achieve liberty.